Hey there. Do you stream with the Quest 3 and use the meta casting solution? And you're pretty disappointed in the quality? Well, there's another alternative. You just need a couple of magic words. And it'll allow your Quest 3 to communicate wirelessly with screen copy and ADB on your computer. So this video is to show you how you can go from this kind of view, which honestly is full of artifacts and just doesn't look very good, through the snap of a finger and the push of a button and a little bat file, which I'll link in the description, into this. It's clear. It's representative of the capabilities of the headset. And it's what you want. Now, in order to make this work, you need a dedicated router. Or perhaps an isolated channel so you can get 5 gigahertz out of it. If you have a kind of a standard setup. If you got better, like a Wi-Fi 6, 6E, or 7 router, or something more advanced, then why are you talking to me? You're already rich and famous. But if you need help in this, then there's only five easy steps. Step one, get screen copy. Screen copy is abbreviated like this, S-C-R-C-P-Y, and pronounced screen copy. Once you get here, it's on GitHub, just Google it, um, or you can find it in the video description. Scroll on down and find the Windows download. Click on that to find the latest release at the moment. It's version 2.1.1. .1 .1. You're going to want to download it for your version of Windows and use that. Step two, connect your Quest. You're going to need a USB-C cable. Uh, connect it up. And then you want to find the device's IP address. In order to do this, we would run CMD. So that's the command prompt in Windows. Just go to Start, Windows, CMD, Run, CMD, Enter. You'll get something like this. And then what you want to type in is <clears throat> ADB shell IP address show WLAN 0, like that. And then this will help you bring up the device IP address. Once the information comes in, you will be able to retrieve the IP address uh, by taking the IP address after the word INET and until the forward slash. After that, step three, you're going to update the IP address to match in the text file that I'm providing you. Um, so what we've got is, this is the text file. You can see this is calling for the ADB devices, so you should see if it's properly connected and switched on. Your quest will appear and it'll give it a device number. It's a couple of letters and numbers, a string of about 10 characters, I think. And then down here, what you want to do, let's say your IP address was 10.0.0.7, for example. Or 192.168.0.5. That's your IP address that you just picked up in the last step. So all you do is you update that. That's it. And once you're ready, you're going to, as step four, save this as a bat file. So whatever you want to call it, you bring it here and you give it a name. I, I would call it quest3.bat. It'll say it's saving as a text file, but it'll be a bat file. You save it and that'll create a, short, a small executable that allows you to run this for you. And you can, you can inspect it. This is why I'm not providing it for you. Otherwise, someone could inject some naughty code. But all this is doing is showing you the ADB devices, changing the TCP port, going into TCP mode, connecting to your device directly on the IP address, and then it's telling you in the window, your Quest 3 must be turned on. Disconnect the USB cable, because you won't need it for the next step, and then this is running screen copy. It's choosing a video bitrate of 16 meg. You could reduce that if you want or if you have trouble with it. Uh, this is the crop that relates to the actual pixel resolution of it itself. And then it gives you window title, Quest 3 Stream. It's full screen and always on top, so you can use it. And if you click around in Windows on a desktop or whatever, it doesn't go away. Put it on a, on a second monitor 
or third monitor if you have it, and then capture that in OBS. The only thing that I would note as well, and I'll type it in here, but you're not going to type it into your file, you want a minus 21 degree rotation in OBS. Okay, that's what you want to do. Because they're canted displays, it means that the picture will look like this, and you want to straighten it up. So to straighten it up, you apply a transform of a negative 21 degree rotation back, and you'll end up with, with a perfect image, high quality, wireless stream from Quest 3 that you can use for your stream or video. Okay, one more thing. So if the screen copy method seems a bit too daunting for you, um, you can use the lower quality option, which is really, really easy. It's inbuilt into your headset, and it just works off of a web browser. So if you go to oculus.com forward slash casting, which is a link that in future may change to a meta link. At the moment, it's oculus.com slash casting because Oculus was the previous name prior to meta. But essentially in the headset, you go in, you press the meta button, which is shown here in the instructions as the Oculus button. Uh, you go to camera, cast, and computer. It's a pink button, the uh, camera or sharing button. It's a little pink button on the universal menu. It's very easy to find. Um, and, and, and then you just start casting the computer. And this website, if you're logged into it, will automatically refresh and update and start showing you your live cast. And then you have options for widescreen mode, volume setting, and full screen, uh, which works well for capture. So that's the, the kind of quick and dirty mode. Screen copy is way higher quality, and I would recommend uh, the screen copy method personally. But if you do that, you don't get audio. So that is one of the advantages of the meta solution. Uh, if you have an external audio solution, so for example, one of the things that I have is the Rode Wireless Go, which is this little tiny uh, box that uh, does wireless um, transmission. So it's a transmitter receiver pair. And they're really cute, an adorable little like gum pack style. And it comes with a microphone, right? And then it's got a transmitter that you can measure, you can monitor levels and stuff on. But the point of that is you can get a, um, just an audio cable that will go mail to mail from your headset to one of these. And then on the other side, you go from one of these into your computer to the line in to capture the audio and then share it with Again, your stream, um, or for example, on a video. Uh, if you're doing that, you may need to get something like a splitter for the audio. If you yourself need to hear it at the same time, uh, that's what I do. So that's one method if you're using the more advanced version of casting uh, for an image with screen copy capture. Hope this helps you. If you liked it, share it with grandma. Zim out.